So we want to raise this car high into the air so we can actually have room to work under it. Jack stands aren't secure enough or tall enough. So we're using cinder blocks and blocks of wood. Cinder blocks are only strong in this configuration. The holes of the cinder block need to be straight down. If you turn a cinder block on the side, there's no structure, it will break. This could be a deadly mistake. If you're gonna use cinder blocks, you need to understand this concept. We're placing redundant structure in as many places as we can. These cinder blocks are a couple inches away from the frame, but if the car falls, they'll hit this second set of blocks. If you're gonna be under the car, you want this type of redundancy. Safety is not something that you can redo. Now that we have the back end of the car in the air, we'll start to work on the front. We're gonna be working on the front suspension so we can't use the wheels as part of the support. So we're gonna to have to build structure behind the wheels on the frame. We look for major portions of the frame that we can attach the structure to. Then we'll start to work in the cinder blocks and wood. Notice the cinder block configuration. The cells of the block are down so you can see the holes. I can't stress this configuration enough. A lot of people have been killed by not having this correct. It would be nice if we could just take two cinder blocks and put it under, but there's a lot of things to consider here. When you stack these blocks up, you wanna make sure that it feels secure. We have to contact the frame, we have to miss the exhaust, and we have to make sure that we avoid the parts that we're going to be removing. We're gonna be removing a lot of the front suspension. Now, as we bring the front end higher, we have to bring in extra boards to get more height because the jack won't jack up that high. Each step of the way, you wanna keep in tune with the balance of the car. Because the jack wasn't rolling enough, we're keeping some pressure with this mallet. We don't want the car to move forward, we want it to move back slightly. When it's in place, you should be able to shake as hard as you want. There's no movement on this car, but there is some movement on the suspension that we're about to replace. Now we've got the car jacked up a lot higher than normal. We wanted to get enough space so we could get some of these bigger impact hammers in. A lot of parts need to come off, and this will give us the space. It's nice to actually have room to work. So when you're working under a car, it's extremely important to be careful. So this is how we got our car a lot higher in the air to give us some room. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.